Country music recently said goodbye to a country music icon, Ralph Emery. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to On the Record. Best known for his days as a broadcast personality, the Country Music Hall of Famer died on January 15th. He was 88 years old. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and according to a statement from Emery's family, the broadcast legend passed away peacefully at TriStar Medical Center in Nashville, surrounded by those he loved. Before I share how those in country music have expressed their grief of his passing, I want to take this moment, if you have any words or condolences for Emery's family, or even words of encouragement, type them in the comment section below. With his death, many country icons flooded social media. A country music icon herself, Loretta Lynn, was one of them. With a carousel of photos, she shared Emery's impact on the country music genre, recalling moments she's had with him. Quote, he was a Nashville original, and you cannot underestimate the role he played in the success and growth of country music. He made you feel at ease and interviewed everyone just like an old friend. From WSM to Nashville now, he was one of the best. He became a dear friend to me and do over the years, and I'm going to miss him. I wish we could sit down together for a talk just one more time. Brooks and Dunn also pay tribute, quote, no words for what this man did for country music. No words. Other country artists who paid tribute included Rascal Flatts bandmate Jay DeMarcus, Ray Stevens, Ronnie Millsap, and Alabama. Emery would launch his career in radio with a stint at WTPR in Paris, Tennessee, making the career jump to Nashville's WSM in 1957. He interviewed a who's who of country music's biggest stars over the decades, he had a very relaxed, conversational style of speaking to artists, which helped differentiate him from other broadcasters and earned him the respect and trust of those he would interview. According to the Tennessean, Emery earned the unofficial title of the Dean of Country Music Broadcasters. The radio icon would then make the leap to television by hosting The Ralph Emery Show on Nashville's WSMV beginning in 1972, giving viewers early introductions to rising stars including the Judds, who appeared on the show before they had a recording contract. Later, he hosted the national TV program Nashville Now, a Tonight Show-style country music talk show that enjoyed a long run on TNN from 1983 until 1993. Randy Travis and Tanya Tucker were two artists who used their tributes to write a little more in depth of the singer's impact on them and the time they had spent with him. Travis writing, quote, His influence and belief in me proved to be a game changer in my career. The namesake of the Ralph Emery show gave me the confidence to run, not walk down the path that I had chosen. He elevated me as a youngster in Nashville with the grit and the gift to succeed in the country music genre. Mr. Emery was there for me in the beginning and he was there for me until the end. For Tucker, she expressed what losing the Dean of Country Music Broadcasters meant for country music at large. Quote, I'm heartbroken about losing Mr. Country Music and good friend Ralph Emery. He was so good to me throughout my career and a big part of it. We're losing so many warriors that really held our music together. Such a sad day. My thoughts, my prayers, my love goes out to his family. The Country Music Hall of Fame inducted Emory in 2007, Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum CEO Kyle Young making a statement, quote, On radio and on television, he allowed his fans to get to know the people behind the songs. Ralph was more a grand conversationalist than a calculated interviewer, and it was his conversations that revealed the humor and humanity of Tom T. Hall, Barbara Mandrell, Tex Ritter, Marty Robbins, and many more. Above all, he believed in music and the people who make it. Emery's cause of death has not yet been revealed. The iconic broadcaster is survived by his wife, Joy Emery, as well as three sons, five grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. Funeral arrangements have yet to be announced. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.